In this video, we are going to continue with the basic concepts of functions. You will find this on page 99 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Types of functions. Mapping. An alternative name for a function is a mapping. A mapping shows how the elements are paired. It's like a flowchart for a function, showing the input and output values. A mapping diagram consists of two parallel columns. These are my parallel columns. The first column represents the input. Okay. Uh, where am I now? The input of a function. And the second column, its output. Lines or arrows are drawn from the input to the output to represent the relation between any two elements. So this to this, this to this. So the function f, f to x, f of x equals 2x plus 1 can also be written. Okay, so they make f, then they make a double d, double dots, then x, and then they make an arrow, and it's usually having a stripe there, and then 2x plus 1. It's just another way of writing it. This is read as the function f is such that x is mapped onto 2x plus 1. Okay. Or f maps x onto 2x plus 1. A function represented by the mapping above in which each element of the input is paired with exactly one element of the output is called a one-to-one -one mapping. Okay. Everyone is having his own input, output, input, output. In this mapping, the second element of the output is associated with more than one element in the input. So the x values, there's just one, but there's more than one y values. Can you remember? And that's still a function. So this negative 2 will go to 4, as well as the 2 will go to 4. So each output value, y values, may be duplicated, can have more than one input value. X values may not be duplicated, otherwise it's not a function. This is called many-to-one mapping. Many-to-one mapping. There is no choice of Y values in a function. Okay. Now, let's, let's just, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. These mappings do not represent functions. Okay. So basically... Uh, if there's one left here and it's not associated. So for a function, every input must have an output. It cannot stand just there, not an output. Element D does not have an output. Okay, this one. For a function, no input element may have more than one output. X value may not be duplicated. F is mapped onto B and C. Do you see? So there's a double F. There can be a double Y. But there cannot be a double X. Remember, X is the input, Y is the output. Okay. Let's move on. <clears throat> if the graphs are given, you can do the horizontal line test to determine whether a function is one-to-one. -one. Um, usually they say one-one. Um, any horizontal line drawn through the graph will intersect a one-to-one -one function at only one point and a many-to-one function at more than one point. Okay. So if I look, this is, this is exactly 1, so the horiz it only cuts 1, so it's a 1 to 1 function. But if I look at this one, it's going to this one, it's a parable, it's cutting 2, so this is a mini to 1. Horizontal intersects twice, so it's a mini to 1. This is a 1 to 1. Okay, let's look at a few examples. I'm going to move it up, make it a bit bigger. Okay, Ooh. yes, will work. State whether the following functions are one-to-one -one or many-to-one functions. Just do your horizontal line test. Okay, so it will intersect the graph only at one point, so it's a one-to-one. -one. Okay, if you look at this one, everyone is having its own element, so it's a one-to-one. -one. It's going to double Y values, so it's a many-to-one. Okay, output values has more than one input values. Y values are duplicated. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now two. 
Very easy, very easy, very basic. So do A, B, e, and C. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. If, as soon as you see a graph, the best will just be to do the horizontal line test. Now, don't do it there, you, it, the whole graph, because if you did, it looks like one-to-one. -one. But if you draw it there, it's cutting three times. So that's ignoring that. Cut it where it can cut more than once. So this is definitely going to be a mini to one function. Okay, if you look at this one, oh, there's a problem. Do you see? There's a duplicate in x values. And as soon as you see there's a duplicate, it's not a function. So it's not even a, a function. Okay, listen. A function divide into a one to one or many to one. But then it's a function. So if it's not a function, then there is nothing about many or one to one. Okay. So this will just be not a function. I think the, the question states it very clear. Determine whether or a function. So, and if it's a function, state. So, then it can go on. And then the last one, cut once, cut once. Can you, can you see? But, oh, be careful, be careful. You always have to also do the vertical. The vertical test is determining if it's a function or not. So, Actually, and I think I'm going to read or that, um, redo my approach. Can I redo my approach? Before you do the horizontal line test, first do the vertical. If it cuts two times, you're already going to say not a function. So I just recap. Always First, do the vertical and determine if it's a function. If it's a function, you can do the horizontal to determine if it's a one-to-one, -one, if it cuts once, if it cuts more than once, it's a many-to-one function.